Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, hi, my name is Shiv. If you're coming back, then welcome. In today's video, I have this heavy, glam, full, autumnal, makeup-inspired look. It's a little bit of a mixed bag. We've got some product reviews in here. We have a tutorial to show you how to do this kind of like glittery, smoky sort of eye. It's basically the same process I do in pretty much all of my looks, if I can be completely honest, just switch up the colors, but it's a good little tutorial to follow if you want to know how to do this eye look. And I tested up some new face products, which I'm really excited. I'm just gonna give you a sneak preview made by Mitchell Curve Case. That is all. <laughs> if you'd like to see how I got this look and kind of just testing out some new makeup, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be allowed to when you upload, when you upload, when I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media pages. I'm sure on makeup is on everything. That is Instagram, TikTok, and Lemonades. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. I'm just gonna start with my favorite brow product at the moment, which is the By Ellie Brow Texture. This is just as amazing as a brow shape, but it's like not as strong and just kind of quicker to use. So I like this for just a quick fluffy brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this through the brows. I'm just coating the brows in the product and then kind of just moving the brush around it to map out like where I want them to sit. I did trim them recently, so they're a little bit less bushy than normal, but I still want that kind of fluffy appearance. Just gonna use my finger to pat down brows a little bit, just so they do actually last and I do powder and stuff like that. Just gonna zoom you in. Okay, so I'm gonna do one eye at a time, just so it's a little bit easier. But I'm gonna start off with some tape. We know it's just the key, and I feel like I always prefer the way my makeup looks. I've got fluff all over this tape. Look, when I've done the tape method, and all it is is you simply use a piece of tape on the outer corner of your eye, going right from that outer corner section towards the tail of your brow, and that's gonna create that really nice, like, sharp cat eye kind of look without the need for, like, being super precise and everything. It's basically the lazy way to create a really sharp makeup look, and I love it. I always feel the most confident when I do my eye makeup like this. So I'm just taking a piece of tape right here. You could pop it on the back of your hand to get rid of the excess stickiness, but I prefer just going in straight off because I feel like tape makes your face sweat and then it will just move around. So I'm just gonna pop that right here. I'm gonna push it down so it's really firmly in place like that. I'm now gonna prime the lid. I'm taking the Beat Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Base. This stuff is really, really good. I like the fact that it sets down really quickly and I've used it so many times. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the product like that and just pop that straight onto the lid. I've obviously got lash extensions on, so this is gonna save so much time later on for the makeup, but also just get away in the way a little bit of the eyeshadow base, but hey hi. To move that eyeshadow base around the eye and kind of pat it down, I'm gonna take the Morphe M224 brush right here, which is like a flat synthetic brush, and just start by kind of patting the base down so it's spread across evenly. This base does dry down fairly quick, so I always recommend doing one eye at a time with this. And then I'm gonna use the tip of the brush with the excess product on to underline my brow for some definition. And then I'm just tapping that all over the eye to make sure it's as even as possible. Looking that right into that inner corner where I get a little bit blue. For the eyeshadow, I actually picked an eyeshadow palette that I didn't realise would be perfect for this tutorial because it is autumn themed. This is the Morphe 35F Fall into Fabulous palette and I'm going to be taking this very, very warm, just very, very warm brown shade here. My neighbours are deciding to do DIY right now. But this shade right here called Loungewear and I'm going to pack that deep into the crease. For brush, I'm going to take this one from Made by Mitchell. This is the MF10, I think this is called. Sorry about the knocking in the background, but I need to film this video. <laughs> I'm going to take this right here. It's like a short, dense, fluffy brush. I'm just going to quickly make sure that there's no like 
can see the eyeshadow base crease from the eye. We're all good. Then I'm just going to take that brush, load it up with the shadow, and just start really just pressing that right into the outer corner and because you've got that tape there you're not going to have like a messy outer corner you're going to have a really nice sharp cat eye going on which is my favorite look taking some more shadow and i'm just going to keep building this up all the way through that kind of crease socket area so if you imagine where your eye socket is just almost going to push that into that and give it a little wriggle and that will put the shadow exactly where it needs to go for this depth at this moment in time it's a very elaborate way to say pop it into your crease press and wiggle And then once you've got that color in there, in that crease, as you can see, I'm gonna make sure I'm packing loads on that outer section of the eye look, and then just kind of wiggling through the crease to kind of blend out that eyeshadow and make it nice and smooth. But I'm not going in like big circular motions just yet. I'm now taking the shadow up right here, which is called Mood Board, which is like this lighter brown. It kind of has a little bit of a mustard tone to it, but I'm gonna use this to then blend out this shade. So I'm gonna pack that on top and then slowly start blending through the edges. And I am gonna take it on a Primark brush. This is a 230 brush. Sometimes I do like cheap brushes too and they work just as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that right here and go into this shade right here called Mood Board. So I'm just gonna start with that outer corner and just kind of like push halfway on top of where the dark shadow is and part the top of where the skin is. It doesn't have the eyeshadow and just kind of push and wiggle just a little bit, but I'm not going all around in big circular motions just yet because that's gonna end up making them look really messy. Build it up gradually, just for the time being while we're kind of setting this base down. Press and wiggle, press and wiggle. Just like that, looking a little bit intense, but we will blend it out in a little bit. I'm now gonna take the shade Bliss, which is right here. On my viewfinder, it looks very pale, but it's kind of like a just beige color. I'm gonna use that to blend out that top edge we're basically going onto the brow bone now don't be afraid to like go very high up onto your eye area it will create a really nice like smoky look so i'm gonna go ahead and take this right here on a made by mitchell mf1 i think it is called it's a little bit fluffier and what i'm gonna do is just push right on that brow bone and then just kind of start blending the edges because it's not really a big section of eye that we're working with i am gonna go back and forth right away and just kind of work on diffusing those edges that I've built up, blending it right into that inner corner. And blending that top edge, it already looks nine times better. I don't know why I said nine. Why not 10 times better? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna start blending that. As you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth. Not bringing the shadow too far down though, just mainly focusing on the brow bone and letting the brush kind of do the work that I want it to do. This look is already giving pumpkin spice latte, but we're gonna up the notch with a little bit of glamour and a little bit. Then, the secret of any of my smoky crease shades, smoky eyes, anything like that, and probably in any kind of Makeup technique is once you've already put down the colors you've got don't be afraid to then go back through the colors and then build re-intensify build re-intensify it till you get the desired look don't just leave it like this you can always add a little bit more so i'm going to go back through the exact same color step that i already did so taking the first brush that first shade which i believe was called loungewear and i'm just going to go back through the crease but because you've set everything down you can be a little bit like more kind of messy with your hand I guess because it's not going to go patchy because you've already blended it on top of the base so it's just blending into powder back and forth little circular motions building up towards the other color but still keeping the main part of the darkness in that crease and outer corner and then taking that mid shade tapping off the excess and then just kind of softly holding my brush quite far down at the handle for a softer kind of touch to the eye and I'm just really blending that on top 
Going to circular motions now. Still keeping it quite controlled to fill in that outer section. Although I have a little bit of text on the outer section of my eye for some reason, so work a little bit extra hard just here. And then, of course, taking that beigey colour, of course, just adapt to your skin tone. If you are deeper than me, go for a deeper shade. And then just use that to really softly blend out those edges. It has gone a little bit into the brow, but that's absolutely fine. Of course, you could fill in your brows later on, but I just prefer them quite undone. You might fill them in later, who knows? So that's basically the main part of the eye done, which I'm loving. I think that looks super smoky and sultry. Now for the star of the show, I'm taking the Peaches and Cream Cinderella pigment. I love Peaches and Cream pigments. They're so like finely milled and beautiful. And I picked this up off of TikTok lately and I was inspired to this whole look surrounding this pigment. So I can't decide if I want to put an extra base on top of the lid. It's gonna make it more intense. Yes, we'll do it. So <laughs> I'm gonna go quickly back to the P Perf Be Perfect. P be perfect prime eyeshadow base pop a little bit on the same brush that we used earlier this is literally like a little amount just on the tip of the brush like so and i'm just going to pop this onto the lid just to kind of make that pigment really pop and that's a bit too much i really want this look to be like a cut crease but i have a feeling it's going to end up looking like one I'm just going past the lashes that are in the way right in the corner and then i'm just going to start kind of softly working that up a little bit i don't want this to go too high just above my inner crease very lightly like pulling down <laughs> happy with that i'm not going to keep going because it's going to end up looking more of like a cut crease but basically i'll just pop that across the lid a little tip as well is to look into the mirror in front of you and see what part of the eye shadow that you can see if you want more of a cut crease you can of course go higher i've got slightly hooded eyes so i like to kind of go a little bit higher but not too much for this look because i kind of want it still to be like glam without an extreme cut crease i don't know <laughs> but this is what we've got so far then i'm taking this beautiful pigment from peaches and cream called cinderella it's like bronzy gold like pink reflex tint to it it's just absolutely stunning i'm going to take it on peaches and cream brush as well which is the pc 52 and just pack that on top of where you put that base and i'm just going to pack that on top of the base and look how pretty that is this would look even nicer over dark base i think like over a black base this would look unreal <laughs> Oh my god, that is so stunning. What I'm doing now is I've just taken a little blending brush, a different one to the one I used earlier, just because I am doing one eye at a time. I don't want the other brush covered in shimmer. So I'm going to use another little brush. You could use the same one you used before if you weren't doing one eye at a time like I am. But just take it with a little bit of that darker shade and very, very lightly run that softly through the crease. And it's just going to diffuse the edge so it's less like a cut crease. And then just kind of work that into the outer corner again so it's got like a nice diffusion i'm now going to put on some liner and i'm taking the liquid liner from anastasia beverly hills i used this in my last tutorial and i actually really enjoyed using it and i feel like because i have these kind of lash extensions we're a little bit like outgrown and going on to all different places i don't want to use one that's like super wet because it's just a recipe for disaster so i'm going to take this one here which is really easy to control and just pop on a little wing i'm going to go completely silent through this because I don't want to mess it up <laughs> but because we put that tape on the outer corner it's going to make our lives so much easier taking my little mirror how cute is this from doll beauty by the way i broke my like morphe mirror that i had years ago just never bothered like replacing a hand mirror do i saw this on tiktok a while ago and was like sold okay i've got it on my finger everyone no not get that on the face <laughs> Okay, I'm now going to peel off the tape, hopefully reveal a nice smooth edge. Shall we do it? Okay, a little bit of a base popping through, but other than that, pretty happy with that. 
this is in myself. But this is kind of the overview of the look so far. I'm just going to pop this liner through the waterline. This is the Chocolate Craven Liner Pencil from Morphe, which is very well loved as you can see. And I'm just gonna pop this through the waterline. This is a very dark brown. Almost looks black, but it's not quite black. And I feel like it just really makes the color of your eyes pop. I've got green eyes, and I feel like it really brings the green out when I wear more colored eyeliner. I'm just doing the waterline, but basically looking down into a mirror, just kind of going back and forth. You can always go in sections if you have like sensitive eyes. But doing this gets rid of that like blank space underneath your, oh God, don't do that. <laughs> underneath your lashes, which can make the look kind of not look as good. Spice and sweet. <laughs> and I'm gonna pop that through the waterline as well. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a little bit of the eyeshadow base that we used earlier and just kind of smudge that along the lower lash line. I want this to be a super smoky look. In my last tutorial, by the way, I don't know if anyone else picked up on this, but I actually forgot to do my lower lash line. And when I was editing the video, I thought, why does this look actually look different to the look I recreated on my birthday? Because when I'm filming it, I actually forgot that I did a lower lash line, but it makes so much difference. I'm gonna tap off the excess just so there's not loads on like the tip of the brush and then just kind of run this loosely underneath that lower lash line like where the little creases are. It's gonna help the eyeshadow for last a lot longer and just look a little bit more opaque. Then I'm gonna take that darkest color right here and use this to build up that smokiness. You can look up if that helps. Just like this, but I am going to put concealer on later, which will like take away the intensity of this eye. It'll all come together. I don't know whether to do this now or later, but I'm gonna do this now, and then if I need to top up the makeup later, I will. But I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Sugar Rush Caviar Stick Eye Color. I got this in a little like quad of them, and they're so nice, like the perfect like traveling makeup accessory. This one is so nice for the inner corner. I'm gonna roll it up, and it looks like this. I'm gonna pop that as like a base for a shimmer on the inner corner. And literally just draw it on, pat that on the kind of tear duct area. I feel like in makeup looks, everyone used to put a shimmer on the inner corner and people just stopped and I felt so sad about it because it looks so pretty. I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush like this one and I'm gonna take a shimmer and I'm gonna take this one right here. That one there, I'll put the name on the screen of what shade this is because I've lost the plastic so I'm on the floor and I can't find it. But I'm gonna take this one right here and pop that on top of the Laura Mercier stick. Like, look how pretty that is. Love that. I feel like I can't stop looking at how different the eyes look. I will pop a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes later on, but I'm going to do the face first. I'll do the other eye and we'll be right back. I am probably the most latest to the game ever when it comes to like hyped up beauty products. I always have intention to try them out right away, but it never works out. But I'm trying the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is like a famous primer. Everyone seems to love it. So yeah, I'm going to give this a little go. This is new to me. I've never tried it before. never really tried anything for milk makeup. No, I haven't. But I'm going to go ahead and pop on the Hydro Grip Primer and I'll let you know my thoughts. It was quite heavy, you know. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm going to apply some. I don't really know how much to put on to be honest. So we're gonna open like two and a half pumps and just see what that does. Oh, straight away feels like it's like adhering to the skin when I put it on. It's like a very like sticky gel. Ooh. I've got my hair up all in it. And then I think, oh my God, look at this stick. And this is like designed so when you put your foundation on top, sticks to the primer oh that's fun okay i like that that was really fun to use i don't know about the longevity of makeup but i feel like it's tried and tested and everyone seems to love this so yeah for foundation i'm gonna take my favorite foundation ever which is a charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation in the shape 6n i think you can kind of see how far this is down now it's about like to there kind of like third of the bottle i need to rebuy this just to stock up because i love this foundation and i am just going to pop it all over the skin with a coco cosmetics marshmallow sponge which is stained but it is the real thing blend this all over into the skin Oh, <laughs> 
I'm now taking concealer from Milk Makeup. This is the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. This is in the shade 6C. I was kind of gifted this, so I don't know if this is gonna match me or not. We'll give it a go and just kind of see. Okay, first off packaging, adorable, love that. Really nice, is it a twist? It is a twist, ooh. Okay, gets a little bit stuck when you first put it out, but I'm gonna use this as my concealer. And apparently with this concealer, you can use it like all over the face if you want to. But I'm just going to do my normal concealer because we have a very exciting product to test in a moment. Okay, good shade match, good shade match. And I really like the kind of like pointy doe foot applicator on this, that's so nice. I'm really happy with the shade choice. Yay! The only thing I will say about this concealer, just testing it, is that not a lot of product comes out on the doe foot applicator, so you do have to go back a few times, but could also save you from putting on too much product, so pro and con depend on the way you look at it. But yeah, really like the look of this, but how does it blend out? Let's test it. Oh, okay, it has a little bit of like a sheen to it, but it looks nice. Hmm, okay, I'm, I'm a big fan of this so far. It's, it's in my good books at the moment. Yeah, gorgeous. This just sits on the skin so nicely. I know I've got such a full coverage foundation on anyway, but I feel like sometimes you can tell with the concealer how it sits on top of other makeup. Yeah, really impressed with this so far. And the primer was really fun to use. I don't know like how much to vote on the actual like staying power of the primer, but it felt really nice to apply and I felt like my makeup went on so nicely on top of it. So yeah, a big fan of these milk products so far. In fact, my skin is skinning and i'm about to try a new product which i'm so excited for curve case oh my god i'm so excited to try this i know at the beginning of the video i was saying like i'm usually the last person to try the new products but this one i jumped in on and i've actually sat down fairly soon after i bought it this actually came next day made by mitchell shipping service is so ridiculously quick i got the shade light and i'm gonna dive into it and i'm really excited it isn't technically part of the tutorial it's more review but we're all, we're going ahead with everything here. I'm really, really excited to try this. So this is what the curve case looks on the inside. You have four blushes, two pinky tones, two kind of orangey tones, and then a bunch of kind of bronzer contour shades. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. You have shades that are already in his collection, just in a cream form in one handy palette. And this is just, I don't know, this is just giving me like really inspirational makeup vibes. I used to go to makeup college years ago and I had loads of like grease paint palettes. And this is kind of what this reminds me of. So I'm just so excited to play with this. I've already done my concealer because I didn't know kind of what the vibe was gonna be with these. I am gonna take the shade. We've got these two lighter tones here. I think I'm gonna, I prefer more of like a warm bronzer contour, but more of a cream bronzer. I'm gonna take the shade Cream Carve. Creme Carve, yeah, Creme Carve, which is right here. And I'm gonna use that to cream bronze. Now, truth be told, this is the most stunning thing I've ever seen. I'm too scared to touch it. Like with my fingers, I don't wanna get brush hairs in it, anything like that so i'm gonna use a spatula old school makeup vibes like i was back in college this is why it's so inspirational i'm gonna take a little bit of the product and pop it on the back of my hand to work with but you could go in with your brush if you wanted to or your finger finger yeah i'm gonna use my finger yeah yeah i'm gonna use my finger i don't want to scrape it out i don't know i just want to touch it so i'm gonna take my finger and i'm gonna go in with creme carve okay oh okay that is like so super creamy and that's what it looks like right here which is creme carve okay so i've got a decent amount of product on my finger and i'm just gonna kind of like dot this where i put that on my face so just kind of like on the cheekbone is slightly under same on the other side I can go a bit darker, you know. And now I'm gonna take Shady Business, actually. I'm gonna use that for my forehead contour. Oh my God, the texture of these is like unreal. It's super like balmy. I'm gonna take a little bit of that creme carve on like the double chin area. And then for blush, I'm gonna do a little bit of an ombre blush moment. I'm kind of wanting to use this, you know, which is Snatural because I feel like it will really tone tie into those warm tones on the lid yeah so i'm going to take the shade snatural right here and i'm just going to pop that right at the top of the cheek just here
Then just to be super extra, I'm gonna take a little bit of strawberry cream, which is that super baby pink shade right here. And I'm gonna pop it on my pinky finger. Oh, it feels so nice to touch. I can't, it's like just super creamy. Love it. I'm gonna pop that just here, right on the, I'm knocking my table over, right on the apple of my cheek. So taking that strawberry cream shade right on the apple of my cheek, or ombre moment. <laughs> So you could use your beauty sponge, but I feel like that's kind of take away some of the sh like pigment. I'm just gonna take this pointed Kabuki brush and blend it out, starting with that blush. Just kind of like dabbing over the strawberry cream shade, going kind of lightest to darkest. I feel like that's blending into the concealer and like foundation so nicely. <laughs> I feel like that's given my skin a little bit of a glow as well, which is so nice. I thought these were gonna be like more matte on the skin, but they actually have a little bit of glow. Okay, I'm loving these so far. And then I'm gonna blend out the like contour bronzer kind of shades. I've just blended out all of that curve case on my skin and to be honest, I barely actually use that much product. I feel like I dived into enough of the shades to kind of get a feel for the texture and everything. I'll use some of these other shades another time, but first impressions, this is so good. It gives the skin like a nice glow. It's blended into my foundation nicely. You can kind of pick and choose. You can mix colors if you want to. This is a top pick. For powder, even though I kind of love the way this looks, it's not gonna last on my skin. I'm gonna touch it and it's gonna transfer. That's just the way it makeup is but it will show through when we powder. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it is my absolute favourite. I always go back to this. And I'm just going to pop some on with this Brushworks powder puff. Still the best bronzer ever, the Dolt Beauty Give Me Sun Bronzer in the shade Medium. I'm just gonna keep using this until it completely disintegrates because I have a new one in my drawer ready to go. This is the best bronzer ever. It's so nice. I love it. I used to use the NYX one, but this is just better, I feel. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this all over the kind of outer perimeters of the skin. For blush, I feel like I want to add a little bit of like a shimmer. So I'm going to take the Nabla Skin Glazing Glow Powder in the shade Lola. This is really pretty. And I'm just going to use this as a blush, basically. And then we have another milk makeup product to try. This is the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I popped this on my story the other day and I actually had a few of my friends say they use this and love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. A blue agave extract forms an invisible layer to grip and set to makeup all day. So let's give this a go. Love the packaging and like the whole vibe of it. Always do a spray away from yourself first. Make sure it sprays nicely on your face. I like a lot of the set one spray. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, my skin looks like glowing from within, even though I'm wearing a full coverage foundation and I'm here for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the foundation off my lips. For highlighter, we're going old school with the Sleek Solstice palette right here. And I'm gonna take this kind of like champagne-y color right here, which as you can see, it's very well loved. I saw this in my makeup drawer the other day and I thought, I'm gonna dig that out. So I'm gonna pop this onto my cheeks. Mm, so pretty. <laughs> And I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. I'm using a waterproof so it transfers less. This is the Revolution 5D Lash Waterproof Mascara. Just a little touch from the tiny bottom lashes, like the smallest amount. For lips, I'm gonna take the Boy By Lip Liner from Doll Beauty. And then for the lipstick, I'm actually taking a nude, like a nude nude. <laughs> Usually I go for like more of a pink tone. This is the Doll Beauty Dolled Out Lipstick. 
can see it's quite intense. It's giving year seven UK school. I'm just gonna take my finger to kind of like diffuse it a bit. And then I go back to the lip liner to blend that out. And this is the finished makeup look, this full autumnal heavy glam kind of vibe look and I'm absolutely here for it. Of course you could change anything about this that you wanted to, like go for a warmer lip, take away maybe if you weren't wearing eyelash extensions, you could just have this with just mascara, anything like that, but I absolutely love the way this turned out. That curve case by the way, you need it. I know this is not what the video is about, but I've fallen in love with this product. And uh, Peaches pigments are literally just the best thing ever. If you're looking to kind of spice up your makeup but don't know where to start, just get a few pigments and just have some, like have a little play with them because they're so good at kind of amping up your look. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I feel super glamorous and I just want to swish my hair all around. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I upload a new video. Go ahead and follow me on my social media page Ages. I'm Siobhan at Makeup Biz on everything. That's all platforms. So Instagram, TikTok, and Lemonade. So go ahead and follow me on there. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching and I shall see you next time.